if you add the complexity of having the isentropic efficiency of the compressor and the turbine, okay? And you don't want constant specific heats, you want variable, you want to account for variable specific heats. So here, same type of format, I'm putting in some information, but I don't really need to know the K and I don't need to know the R and the C sub V and the C sub P. I could have deleted those lines, maybe I should have. <laughs> But we do need to know that pressure ratio. And instead of just going from state 1 to 2, we go 1 to 2S, and then we modify accounting for the isentropic efficiency of the compressor, which is 83%. So if we go from 1 to 2S, that's isentrop. We use the air tables. Use that PR column because it's the pressures that are known. And so we know that P2 divided by P1 is the same as PR2 divided by PR1. This is a function of temperature only. We looked that up. This pressure ratio is given to be 9. We evaluate PR2, 12 and a half, and then we use that to come across and get H as well as T. Now, once we have state 2, the difference in these H's is the work that the compressor would consume if it was isentropic. But now we modify with our 83% isentropic efficiency. It needs more work, so you divide by 83%. This is what the actual work is. So you take and go from 302 to 616.5. Does that all make sense? Can you do that on an exam? All right. You're just uh, analyzing a compressor, accounting for its isentropic efficiency, accounting for variable specific heats using the air tables. Okay. This, if you can do the compressor, it's very similar now for the turbine. You come out at a specified temperature out of the burner, do isentropic expansion from the known pressure to the low pressure, that pressure ratio of 9. Compute that work that would be developed if it was isentropic expansion. Given the 88% isentropic efficiency, you're not going to get as much out. So the actual turbine work out is 622.9. So then you modify from this H to that H. And that's what fixes state four. Good. Then I like this style of all the Q's and all the W's. Sum up for the cycle, sum up for the cycle, double check that they're the same. Calculate deficiency, which is simply the ratio of the work of the cycle divided by the Q in, the Q in, is only in this heat exchanger between states 2 and 3, 32%. And the back work ratio is the ratio of the work needed to drive the compressor divided by the work that the turbine produces, 50.8%. Here are the answers to all the questions A through G.